guys, welcome back to Offroad Icon. My name is Javier, and today we're going to be talking about my 72 inch RS Pro box made by Homac. The reason for this video is that you're going to see this box behind me in quite a few of my videos, and I figured why not get ahead of the curve, show you guys what it's about, and tell you why I picked it, what my features that I like are, some things that I don't like, and give you an overall opinion, at least from my perspective of how good or how bad this box actually is. Uh, to give you a little bit of background, I'm an electrician, I'm not a mechanic, but I love working on my cars, my quads, um, pretty much like to do everything myself. So I owned this box for about a year. Before that, I owned a Husky box, a little 27, 30 inch wide with a top chest, a pretty small. Um, what happened was basically I was growing out of it I had a whole bunch of Husky tools at the time, and it was filled to the brim with that and my uh, Klein tools, because I am an electrician, so I do carry a lot of Klein tools as well. So when I stopped being in the field, I brought all my Klein tools in, and it just filled my box and overwhelmed it. So after about a year, maybe two years being in this house that I'm in now, I said I finally got a space where I can put a big box in, and I jumped on it. My wife was all about it. She let me buy what I wanted. And ultimately, this is what I got. So, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna open up the top chest, give you some overall dimensions, and give you guys a little bit of an idea of how much space this is taking up in my three car garage. But before we dive in, do me a favor. Go down, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell notification so you can get notified every week when our videos come out. And then go ahead and smash that like button if you have a comment or any questions during the course of this video or afterwards, please comment down below. Let me know. I don't see a lot of these posted on YouTube. Uh, a lot of them are the smaller ones. I didn't see any of the black ones. So I wanted to get you guys a first person perspective of this unit. The fact that this is black and the way the color looks is kind of a big reason for me making this video. If you go onto the Home Act website, you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me get up and go ahead and show you guys some of the dimensions on this box. Be right back. Five foot ten. You can see behind me. This is how tall the box stands. But to give you some dimensions, I grabbed my tape measure. And what we'll do is I'll go ahead and close the box. Kind of give you an idea of what it would be closed. So to the top, if I push this down, it's sixty and seven eighths. I would say it's sixty one inches, but that's pretty much what you're getting there. The gap at the bottom. I know you guys can't see it from the screen. But it's a seven inch gap at the bottom. So the wheels are taking up seven inches of space. As far as width is concerned, if you measure the box from outside to outside, not including the handles, you're at just over 72 inches, probably about 72 and a 16th. If you were to measure the handle that's on the outside edge, it's about four inches. Hopefully you guys can catch that. So it's a rather large box, not the biggest box there is, but overall it takes up a decent amount of space. They do make it in smaller variations. Uh, as far as looks are concerned, if you were to buy the smaller unit, you can kind of just imagine a box that goes from about where I'm stopping my tape measure to the end. So approximately a 52 or a 54 inch box. And it pretty much has this setup right here. You wouldn't have that side piece. Um, so let's dive in on why I bought the box. I, mean, I told you I wanted bigger space. I wanted something I can grow into. I'll be honest, originally I thought I wanted a top hutch. Um, it took quite a bit of convincing on myself and a lot of looking around to tell myself I didn't need a top hutch. I liked the way it looked. Maybe I was trying to be some sort of mechanic or DIYer, but I realized eventually, after thinking about it and thinking about it, and those who know me know that when I think about something, I am looking at it all day long. 
researching it, comparing it, looking at different brands, looking at the prices, trying to find reviews on YouTube. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out that if I'm gonna spend some money on something, in this case, about 2,200 bucks, I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna try to like it, and I'm not gonna regret it. So, because of that, all the time I spent in this guy was trying to figure out the look, the function, the quality, the gauge of steel, um, you know, all that type of stuff in order to make sure that I feel, felt it was gonna last for a long time. Luckily, I live in the desert, so I don't really worry about rust and moisture, but I did want something that was pretty decent quality. Didn't feel chintzy, the drawers didn't feel like they were caving in or, uh, you know, wobbling all over the place. So, the first thing, and if you go on the Homax website, the first thing that attracted me to the box was the look on Homax website. On Homax website, you'll see that it's a murdered out look. This is a matte finished black with gloss handles. And I'll tell you what, I wanted that look. When it arrived, I would have to say that I was pretty upset. Um, I opened up the package. It's a large package. I'll insert a photo, probably about here. Um, it's a rather large package. I mean, it comes on a 55 foot truck. I had to pay for uh, lift gate fees. And I opened the box up. These things are stacked on top of each other. There's a pallet on the bottom, a pallet in between. I opened the top hutch up and I go, why is it glossy? <laughs> I was really upset. Um, another thing that happens on the website is if you look at the RS Pro stickers, they are black and here they're white. So I thought I got an old model. I thought, I, you know, I was kind of lied to. So I reached out to Homac and said, hey, what's going on? Did I misselect something in my order? Um, you know, I only saw options between black, I think orange, red, and blue. I didn't see a matte black option. And they said, no. According to them, their statement is that unfortunately the matte black with black handles shows up better on their website and helps to differentiate between the drawers. If they would have done the gloss black with gloss black handles as a photo, they felt you wouldn't have an accurate depiction of what the toolbox looks like. So take that for what it is. Like I said, I was a little upset, but hey, what are you going to do? So diving in, right on the outside, the only thing you'll see on the outside, I got the handles that I adhere to it. I do have this double tray from Performance Tools. It's always stuck on the side. Whenever I work with the truck, I grab it, throw the screws in there. Let me go ahead and open it up real quick. You see it's gas shocks. I'm gonna grab the keys for it. Sorry. So you get two sets of keys. I have them split up. So you can see in the photo here. Um, the keys are not matching. Another thing that's a little frustrating. There's probably a really good reason. Uh, hopefully I get the right one the first time. Nope, of course not. So the top one, and you can see it pop up maybe here, is only a 90 degree turn. Now the top hutch only locks the top hutch. So you go ahead and close this here. I go ahead and spin it 90 degrees. As you see, I can't open this. I can't open any of my drawers. I still have ability to pull it in these drawers. This key for the bottom one is 180 degree turn. And it's got that great sound, guys. I mean, I watched, I want to say it's Jay Flat Out's video, because he's bought a smaller version of this. I heard that, I agree. Sounds like you're locking up a safe. So. Let's go ahead and get it open. You guys can check out the box, get a little closer look. Up top, it stays mostly empty. Your interior space is probably, it's about three and a half inches tall is how much space you get between this guy and in here. So you're not getting a lot of space. Really, I just throw stuff up here as I'm working on the vehicles. My gloves are up here, my lights up here, charger port, charging ports and plug, strip, and I put my phone up there to charge and connect it to my stereo. So you're not getting a ton of space as far as usable space to store a lot of stuff, maybe some roller molded cases.
but it is a rather large surface. The problem is you see how tall it is. It's not a working surface. So again, these you can buy them separately. I chose to buy them together. It's cheaper if you buy them together. If you buy them separately, especially during, when they run the special, it's like an $800 difference. It's something really crazy. So buying them together is the way to go. I ended up just buying a 52 inch Husky wood table that's adjustable. You can lift it up and down. Again, that was my choice. I felt that I didn't want the hutch after all. I could get a flat table, make it work the way I want to. I could have a table that's portable rather than trying to roll this giant toolbox around. And overall, it made me happy. So bad, not matte black and not murdered out. It's blacked out, but it's not murdered out. Uh, goods, love the size. Uh, casters roll really well. My favorite feature, is this lift up handle feature. So you can kind of see me flipping it up and I'll give you a better view of it in a second. But I like that you can't just pull this out. I didn't want a friction based drawer. Um, they are ball bearing. They are all the, a couple of the bigger ones like this one and this one and the bottom one in the center have four uh, slides on them, tracks. But I wanted something that you had to lift and unlock I felt like it'd be more secure if I do move it. Um, the other cool thing is that if I go ahead and let's just say open the bottom one, and then we go ahead and lock the unit. So as you can see, it's locked. I can't pull that out. If I just push it in, it locks it back. In. So I like that feature, but I never lock it. Um, again, for those who maybe have to lock their box up, that might be a great feature for you. I liked the feature. I don't need the feature, but it is a nice feature. I can walk up to it, just push everything in after I lock the box and it'll lock the drawer. So you don't have to really worry about it not working out that way. Uh, branding is pretty simple. Homac, Homac, big sticker here, the RS Pro here and here. Um, this Capri tools is because I added it to it. I don't sticker out my boxes. You can see my license plate for the fronts up there. Um, I really like Capri tools. You'll notice it when I when you get in here. Um, lifetime warranty, great price. When I had my little 30 inch, I'll just call it a 30 inch, uh, Husky top and bottom set. When I bought this, I literally set it up. All the tools that were in that Husky set, I sold it with it for 200 bucks. Um, I had a full, you know, that black 236 piece set of Husky tools and a whole bunch of little pliers and wrenches and all this stuff, uh, ratcheting wrenches from Husky and they weren't bad, but I've had them for over 10 years and I wanted to start new. I wanted something that me and my kids would start off with brand new set and that we could grow into together. My kids are little right now. You'll see them throughout my channel. You'll see them on my Instagram. If you're not on my Instagram, please go follow it. Just head over to the description on this video or any of my videos. You'll see an Instagram link right there at off underscore road underscore icon. Just hit that, you know, follow button on that too. That'd be great guys. I appreciate it. You can check out everything we do when we do it. So <clears throat> back to this. I wanted to grow into it. I wanted my kids to grow into it. I wanted to be able to show them what everything meant. Uh, mind you, this is a rather large box, so it's pretty empty. So let me go ahead and pick you guys up and let's dive on in. All right, guys. So let's get you guys a little closer look to my setup here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be behind the camera now and I will try to get you some decent measurements with one hand. So as you can see, this little lip right here, you're sitting about three and a half inches to the lip. That lip is where this portion of the box right here, the lip will actually fall. So when you close the unit, and it's rather easy to close as long as you're not short, <laughs> um, that's what you're looking at. So if you're gonna store something in here, it's not an abundance of space. Uh, but you do see the gas shocks do tuck in rather nicely. I do have a Sudex light in here. It's a little Amazon special. Um, I like the way it works. You double click on it, it gives you a nice round light you click it one more time, it gives you a red light. You click it one more time, it flashes red, and then it turns off. Rechargeable, and you can charge your unit off of it. The cable is part of it. 
So that part's pretty cool. Um, I don't know the rating on it. Like I said, I just bought it because I like the look. It doesn't last really long. I actually use my Makita ones a little bit more. Um, the magnet on it, it works pretty good, as you can see. Uh, double click. And it lights up the space as a nice even light. So I like that part. Uh, let's get some of the stuff out of the way. So right here on this side, guys, this is where the power strip actually came with this box. It's just a little three port. I actually relocated it and I purchased that power strip. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to have a USB because in this case, I got two. Um, I charged my phone, right? I got a stereo in here in my garage. I hang out in my garage. I want my stuff to work out. So this cord that's here is actually the old power strip and I relocated it to make a power drawer, which I'll show you a little later. So let's go ahead and uh, take this guy. I'm gonna back her up. We're gonna see if I can use that to shine some light. Mm. We'll see. Uh, as you can see guys, all the mats, they are in, I guess embossed, let's go with that word, uh, with the Home Mac logo. They are rather sticky. Uh, not sticky to your hand, but they do a good job of actually taking indents, and I don't know how well you can see that, um, from the tools and not moving around too much. I do leave, uh, that's trash. I do leave a microfiber cloth in here all the time. Um, I have some industrial rip resistant venom steel gloves, nitride. Um, you know, I try to use them. My wife gets really mad when I'm dirty, so I try not to be dirty as far as bringing oil in the house and stuff. You know, She's got to clean it up, so it kind of sucks. All right, so here on the top left, guys, we're, we're gonna start from the top left over. Again, mind you, my box is not, let's see what that, my, do, my box is not 100% full. It's actually nowhere near that. So the first drawer opening, guys, is 16 and a half. The drawer itself is 16 inches. So all these are 16 inches, they are about, Let's call it two and a half inches tall. And the bottom one being probably close to six inches tall. So that is the outside dimensions. In order to open these guys, you're gonna go ahead and lift up on this lever. And you can see the action here. It's got a little tilt action in it. Lift up on the lever, pull them out. One of the things I like is it does get pretty far out there. Some drawers do a little better than other drawers as far as getting all the way flush. Um, in here, I just keep some of my, it's called junk drawer or stuff I don't want to throw away. So this is a Capri uh, catalog for 2018. The stickers that come with the Home Mac box to tell you if you want to tell what everybody what your drawers have inside of them. I uh, don't really care about those. And in here, I have some stickers for different sizing as far as labeling my tool rail or my socket rails. So. I got uh, the first generation of Capri air blower and I really like it. I'm probably gonna buy the second one, to be honest. That's the high flow. It works really well. I like it much better than the regular ones that leak and this is probably pretty cheap, which is probably the reason for it. So I keep that in here. Sometimes I have an air chuck in here. Um, a little 90 degree, quarter inch, uh, quick release, uh, screw, Phillips bit and um, you can actually snap that out, take out different bits. Uh, it works great. I use it more often than you would think so Okay, these next two drawers I believe are empty But I can go ahead and lift this guy out a little bit So you see it's pretty thick. Hopefully you can see it in the uh, angle uh, Flat bottomed. I don't there's no support rails They do have the disconnecting drawers so you can press one in each direction, undo it and pull the drawers all the way out. Um, the reason for this being empty and this being empty, not just because I don't have tools to fit in there, but also because I have a plan for this whole row all the way across. So I'll open the next one. This one's empty as well. I guess at this point we can give you some of the internal diameter, or internal dimensions. So inside 15, drawer depth. It uh, looks like 20 and a half. So, give you guys an idea. As far as the drawer depths, they should all be about the same. Okay, coming down to the last one on the top hutch. This one, I keep all my little boxes of, you know, hose straps. And then I think most of these D-rings and this one are D-rings. This one has connectors in it. 
um, heat shrink, fuses, any of this style boxes. I think underneath here are some screws or some nuts and bolts. Yep, and there's more bolts and screws here. So that's what this drawer is dedicated for and will be dedicated for. Um, I'll probably get some electrical wire, throw it in there too. All right, coming over to the center, guys. This is my, I don't want to say junk drawer or catch-all drawer. It's more of just a drawer that I utilize to have my tray, some straps. Uh, these are always a mess because the box always breaks. Um, some scotch. 3M Super 33 Plus. This is the best type of electrical tape there is, in my opinion. And the cheap 3M, what I would call Jap Wrap. I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but that's what we called it in the trade. So, good stuff. Probably, I don't know, five, six bucks, five bucks a piece. Uh, 89 cents. So, when I wrap stuff, I use this when I don't care what I'm wrapping because I'm just going to take it right back off. I use that. Um, trays from Harbor Freight, connectors and uh, cleaning supplies, pick sets to deep in, uh, clean out the carbs on my quads. This guy right here is a fuel filter. Uh, I, I don't want to say cap, it's for a Cummings. If you guys own one and you do your own oil changes, you'll know that getting that fuel filter on the newer style. Uh, units I have a 2015 you need this if you don't want to make a mess so get one they're not very expensive bike chain cleaner for the quads a little Vicky knife uh, pretty smooth I like the color um, I hate the ones that release like this I like the old school ones where you just push down I feel like they lasted better they didn't get all messed up uh, files in here and a little strike to light a torch and a brand new file set up there. So uh, width on this drawer, since we already know the dimension on the depth is, let's pull that out a little bit, try to pull you guys back a little bit. This is a little difficult guys, I apologize. 32 inches, just about. Uh, yeah, so just shy of 32 inches, 32, 31 and seven eighths. So that'll give you the center drawer dimensions. That's pretty much the same most of the way going down. So I'm actually going to skip over this center section and I'm going to explain why in a second. Up here, this is empty. Um, the only reason it's empty because I'm going to move the, there's a serial number information for the home mag drawer. I'm going to move this drawer over. So in here, you got my trim removal kit from Capri, screwdrivers from Capri, a terminating screwdriver set from Wera. Uh, I love this set, bought it from Amazon works great real comfortable it's got the spinning top not i mean just works really well i use them a lot to work on my bikes so trim kit they work fine uh capri allen sets metric and standard and a little star set a performance tool magnet which i've actually used quite a bit uh, this came with the quarter inch set it's a nut driver screwdriver nut screwdriver adapter i don't know what they really call them see it's got even a spot to put a t-handle onto or a ratchet onto which is kind of cool never used it though because the grip sucks and i never really needed to capri screwdriver set um they are really comfortable especially like this i like that they have a hole on them they're even comfortable like this they have good grooving um i haven't had any problems with the bit ends but i like where is better so I will be upgrading to the wearer system because they have little bite marks, little diamond toothing on theirs. So this is their full set. I put these little knife magnet rails here and here because that stops them from rolling around. I still got this moving around, but overall it stays pretty good. As you can see here, these guys, like I said, they don't move too bad. Um, granted, it's kind of tight in there, but it works pretty good. This whole drawer will go up here. Next drawer is empty. Again, with these two rows all the way across. I'm gonna explain that in a second. The drawer right below it, a little deeper. Um, as far as depth is concerned, it's the same as the left-hand side. A uh, little uh, OBD2 scan tool from Innova, Greenlee, clamp type, uh, meter, multimeter, JSDU, cat sit, or category, JSDU, sorry guys. Um, toner for doing on ethernet cables a 
toner for data lines. I also use them for electrical lines from Fluke. It works really good if you turn the power off. Um, some hearing protection. All right, so let's explain this. This one right here is empty. Um, I'll tell you what guys, some do slide better than the others. I did oil them at one time. I'll probably oil them again. Uh, I find that once you put weight in them, they slide better. So here is my wrench drawer. So the plan is guys, that I'm gonna take this wrench drawer here and I'm gonna make it so that all the way across, these are all my wrenches. As you can see how much space it takes up, I do have the ratcheting set in metric, the combo set in metric, the standard sets in both of those as well. And the anomaly here is this little husky, little offset uh, quarter inch and 5 16 uh, reversible. And it's got the little bite here, which is awesome on both sides. Um, set. This is the only oddball and I kept that for my old set because it, they don't make it and it works great. So, um, but to elaborate, I want to buy the thin wrenches. I want to buy the flexible head ratcheting wrenches. I want to buy the double box end and wrenches, which will probably end up fitting up here because they're super long. So between that, you figure if I buy thin wrenches, I'll put them in one drawer. I buy the flex heads, I put them in another drawer and then the same thing for the other side. And then this will get multiplied again up here when I have the double box ends. I wanna buy a full set of crow's foot for both sides as well as just regular open head ones that aren't crow's feet. So I kept these for my old ones. I think I bought these from Home Depot, but I don't see a stamp on them. So I could be wrong. Uh, little Sunex inch and an eighth. Um, I need this when I work on my AR firearms. I need it to put a barrel nut on, so, and so I got it. Bought it from Amazon. So these guys, guys, they've been great. Um, if you look at the combo style, um, I know that some of the new ones are six point and they got the little cutout here. These are smooth drawed here, um, 12 point on the back end with a little eh, 15 degree arc. Whereas when you look at the, let's get a better one here, probably a number 12, might be a little better. Uh, you can see these do have the teeth on them and they have that little cutout, which I like this style better. Um, and I think these are a hundred tooth if I'm right, as far as ratcheting. So blue and red guys is definitely the theme I'm sticking with. Uh, that's going to separate my metric from standard. So I think it looks nice. Uh, second of all, Capri did that too. So I'm also stick with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, next drawer down is empty, but what it will show you is it's rather deep, just like the other ones. And it's got two drawer slides. So I believe each of these drawer slides holds hundred pounds and I can lean on this pretty well. It's moving the unit and I'm probably moving you guys, but it's not too bad. It does have a little bit of wobble from the side, but if I were to push, you see it pushes pretty smooth, but you see with no weight in it guys and without greasing them, it's still a little stiff. So since I don't have anything in here, I'm never opening it. And thus, that's how it looks. The other thing you'll notice, guys, is here is the mat. Um, I'll show the photos. When I put this together, uh, I put that on top of the other one by myself. I had to take, again, this was on a pallet here. And I had to take this off with the pallet. And then it was backwards. This was actually facing that way. And this was facing forward. And so I had to spin this around. And I didn't have any help. So I actually cut the mat by accident with the corner of this unit when I was spinning it on there. But I didn't want to just damage the whole top and I wanted the mat because I just felt like with the mat, it's just something to bite to, even though this is pretty heavy, it's not bolted down to it. So I think on the back side it does have the two, it doesn't bolt down this way or bolt up. On the back side, it's got a little strap that you put on it in order to join them together. So, all right guys, so in here, Welding gloves, and you know, I'm gonna help it out a little bit now that we're a little lower. We're gonna go ahead and start using some more light. So, <laughs> welding gloves, or framers gloves, mechanics gloves, the Capri screwdriver set, uh, impact set. You smack it on the back with the hammer. Um, works good for rotors. Taking off that stubborn screw that's holding the rotor down. Uh, in there is a number three, JP3, I think they call them. The Japanese style screw. If anyone has ever worked on them, they'll see, and I, I doubt I can get it out. Oh, maybe I can. Uh, let's see if we can put a little light there. 
you see how flat that is guys get yourself one of these it is a milwaukee but if you're working on japanese cars you need one i'm telling you right now it, you'll just keep rounding the other ones if you don't so get yourself one works great i wish i would have bought one big enough for this tool set which will be next uh spring compressor from maddox uh i needed it really quick uh I put on the Carly suspension on my truck and I was having trouble getting the spring on, so I had to compress the spring. Um, works fine. Would I say it's really expensive? No, I think they were 30 bucks, 40 bucks, but it worked. It did exactly what I needed. My wife ran and got it for me and got the last one at Harbor Freight down the street from our house. So um, I don't buy a lot of Harbor Freight tools. I'm not in the belief of spending money for a one-time use tool normally. Uh, luckily this seemed to be a little better quality, but Hey, you know, I was in a pinch. Okay, so we're gonna run down the left side, then we'll move on over. I'm putting, this is the uh, foam tray that you can get with a lot of Capri tools, and obviously the vice grip pliers. And you see it got stuck a little bit, or not stuck, but it was sticky. So this one is a drawer I don't open very much, so it takes a little bit of effort to pull it out. I'll give you guys another trick. I bought, and I don't know if it still works, I bought all of these individually. At the same time, I just added them to my cart as individual items. They sent it to me with the tray. I saved 10 bucks. Um, hey, I'll take that all day. I just nipped it or cut it right here so it fit and the drawers would open. Works great. Irwin set, uh, this is part of a set here. And then the little corner maker. I use them there. You can see they're kind of beat up sprayed on painted i do some woodwork every once in a while and you know they work great for what they are not the strongest holding but they work uh if you heat up something they're definitely going to melt just so you know empty drawer empty drawer so this one's a drawer i modified guys what you'll see in here is this is the three strip that came with the toolbox um there's a hole there's a couple holes i imagine for draining at the bottom of the unit so all i did was run it down into the hole leave enough slack where i can close the drawer without pinching the wire and then run it up the back side and then i plugged it in again right there so that worked great these are the makita lights that i use all the time i own two of them they work great for what i need them for they're they flex they rotate they're like 40 bucks and i have a lot of makita tools so this little magnetic holder came it's a craftsman came from lowe's i don't remember what i paid for it but as you see it works pretty darn well um i always leave that in there this is always sitting like this except for maybe there's a second uh, light in there uh, other than that made my own power drawer for relatively cheap so I'm gonna scoot over the light. All right, so this is a drawer I think everybody normally wants to see. My socket drawer. So let's get a dimension on that because this drawer is longer. Eh, I'm gonna have to hold you guys, sorry. Okay, so it's about 49 and three quarters. So depth is the same, that whole 22 inch statement before. Uh, again, these are all Capri sockets, guys. <clears throat> if you look at my Instagram, again, follow me on Instagram, link in the description below. You'll see that I oiled all my sockets recently. I try to keep them clean. I try to keep them healthy. Uh, you know, this socket set's 200 something bucks. For some, that's not a lot of money. The impact socket set's treated me really well. I must have treated it well. I don't work on enough to have grease on them all the time. So <laughs> that unfortunately doesn't, they don't self grease for me. Uh, the chrome sets, I got them in the three eighths and the quarter. What I did is I bought what they call, I believe the master set for quarter inch and the master set for three eighths. It gives you the shorties, the longs, and it gives you both metric and standard. Um, it's a pretty complete set. There are like a four and a half is missing, I think. And depending on how you like your numbers to go across, I find that for what I need, it's complete enough. Um, they are six point, which I like, and they're wave drive. So you can see all their bits. They have that little curve in them. So they bite here, not at the corners. Um, these Ernst trays are awesome. They come in a three or two row set. Link description below on Amazon. Quarter turn, lift. What sucks about them 
is these stickers. These stickers are always having to get pushed down. The top is fine because you can see they're covered, but usually you can find one, it usually is the same one. They kind of flip up. And then on the bigger sockets, they're almost impossible to see. But you can pick the whole tray or you can push this down here, pull it, and you see it lifts right out. And then put it back in, just push it down here, push it down there, and then snap it back. That locks her back in. So I like that system. Oh, there's a good example right there. You see that one? And back she goes. Um, I like that system a lot. I think it works great. I don't ever take them really out. I do want to buy a cart one day. So I don't know if I'll build the cart 100% and just duplicate tools. Um, but I plan on building a shop. So because of that, this will be in the back of the shop. Cart will be towards the front of the shop. Hence my theory. Uh, this did carry over from my old set because I didn't have the reason to buy one right away and it's just a little 3 8 torque uh, Torque bar uh, New from the set is this breaker bar from Capri um, Hopefully I can get it all in frame so I think it's like a 20 inch or so 24 inch uh, It does lock you see a little divot. That's right there and then it's pretty long length at least uh, also carried over from my old set guys is this uh, inch and a half from gearhead I needed to take off my fuel filter cap on the front of my truck so the plastic cap you spin this on it's a 3 8 drive it works fine um, I thought I needed this uh, it's a f uh, oil pressure sensor but it turns out when I went under the car to help out a buddy the reason it wasn't working is because the wire itself was gone, not the sensor. Um, so, whatever. Uh, cheap, 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 I would say. Do not buy these. Buy the better sets if you can. Of a brake twist. Uh, PT adapter. I try to use it for the breaker bar. It's 24 tooth. Sucks. Don't buy it. Uh, Capri flip sockets. Uh, if you look on Amazon, you'll find other slip sockets that are look exactly the same. Uh, I bought them from Capri because, again, lifetime warranty, so that's great. Over here, let's put this in the light a little bit. Uh, swivel impact sockets, uh, or adapter, sorry. Uh, this is pinned, not the pinless, so you get the less rotation. They work fine for what I need them for. I'm sure one day I want pinless, so today is not that day. Uh, the trays uh, came from Capri. They had a bl uh, little plastic blank cover, clear cover on them. Take it off. I kept it for right now. Uh, impact adapters, you know, let me go from half inch, quarter inch, and all around. These work great too. So you see, I have a lot of space. The goal is probably to buy some 3 8 um, 3 8 socket impact set as well. And then I'm going to um, buy two rows here the, instead of three row trays, I think, and put in quarter inch and 3 8 universal sockets. So that's the goal. They're a little expensive, so it's going to take a little bit of time. The other thing I'd like to buy is, you know, the Torx and the E Torx and the, you know, that set. They have a master set from Capri. So I'll probably run out of space. I'll have to move some stuff around, but hey. That's the whole goal, right? Okay, so continuing down, let's go down the center. My second favorite drawer is my plier drawer. So most of my pliers are Nipix. These strippers here are Capri. They're cheap, 13 bucks. They work great. Sorry. Uh, these strippers are Capri, $13. They work great. They look just like my Klein ones and work the exact same way. And they're cheaper. So I bet if my Klein ones go bad, I'll buy the Capri ones and throw them in my electrical box. So other than that, these are all nitpicks. I wanted something that was good quality, good steel, was gonna last forever. I oil them, I try to take care of them. They're wonderful. Uh, they all look brand new, but I do use them and I just really take care of them, guys. Uh, I use these all the time because I hate cutting myself on loose zip ties. So that's a flush cutter. Uh, oil filter adapter, which I'm sure I bought from I don't know, either Amazon or uh, AutoZone because that's where it goes. As far as imprints goes, guys, you can kind of see, like you see the screw holes from where, or the holes there where it kind of locks in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think the next set of drawers are gonna be empty. This one will one day be uh, pry bars. Um, this will probably be, 
Mm, well, we'll see. For right now, it's nothing because eventually this drawer needs to get built up for dead blow hammers and ball pin hammers and everything like that. So maybe both drawers together, we'll do all that. Um, like I said, the drawer capacity is pretty darn good, but I'm pretty empty. All right, in this drawer, guys, uh, biggest drawer, roll mold cases will be great in here. You see, I got some of the uh, framing, not framing, but uh, brad nailers and nail guns and uh, uh, I actually kept that even though I don't have an air tank to go with it. Uh, DA sander. I have an electric DA sander, orbital sander here, electric uh, router, Makita, uh, stapler, air stapler, uh, Craig jig, some, some wood router bits and Forstner bits, uh, long Irwin, one of those two foot or so uh, locking vice. This guy right here is a brake bleed kit from Capri. I think it's like 80 bucks. Uh, you should buy it. Definitely buy it. Saves your life. Makes your life so much easier, guys. Uh, you just hook up a hose here. Hook that up to your brake bleed side. If you guys want me to show a video on how to do it, let me know. If not, there's videos, I think, throughout the whole YouTube world. But I can't say enough good things about it. Over here, you have you know my ratchets these two ratchets here sorry these two ratchets here came with the quarter inch and three eight set i don't like them they're that quick release ones they're also backwards they don't have the on off switch people say they're backwards but you know righty tidy lefty loosey so this is left and it's going loose this is right and it's going tight so i don't know i guess maybe i'm wrong now this one says left on which would be tightening it and this one says right off. That sounds backwards to me. But at least it tells you, and this is what everybody likes. So, oh, looks like my light finally died, guys. Sorry. Apologize for that. Uh, let's see if I can uh, grab one of my Makita lights here. And there we go. Hence my Makita lights, guys. So I bought the half inch one because the uh, impact sockets do not come with one. And then I bought the full set of um, flexible head ones, non-locking. I like them. They're longer. They're a little slimmer in the handles, but they're longer. And that is a big deal. I wish, though, they were all soft gripped or molded grips because they're kind of slick. So when Capri comes out with that, I'm on it. These T handle adapters come with the three eighths and the half or in the quarter inch. They are extensions. Uh, these are reducers. Don't use them. They suck. Uh, to me, at least, they don't have a they don't have a ball indentation to hold in, so they're kind of loose. These came with the these extensions come with the set. This extension came with the half inch or the uh, yeah half inch uh, impact set. And I bought the three eighths wobble extensions, and I'll probably buy the wobble uh, quarter inch. Uh, empty drawer. Empty, oh no, not empty drawer, sorry. These have my, oh, little Milwaukee quick release uh, drill bits, a uh, little multi-set bit here from Milwaukee, uh, butane torch, uh, screw extractor. I think these are cheap, 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 uh, what do you call them? Oh, tap and die, not tap and die, just tap sets. Uh, these are a security bit set complete and full saws random it's whole saws uh, steel brush whole saw adapter and the bottom drawer is finally empty so um if i back up a little bit guys you can see underneath there some of the boxes that came with it they're all empty some of the roll pouches that came with it i just store them there so let's go ahead and get you guys spun back around and go from there all right guys, so this is my RS Pro from Homac. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. And I got a lot of work to do to fill it up, but tools are expensive and it takes time. Uh, one of the biggest things though that I wanna do, as far as the box is concerned, is buy the side cabinet for it. So they do make a side cabinet that actually goes on it. I actually believe it's on that side. I don't know if it's reversible, but I wanna make it so it's attached to this so I can keep all my oils and everything that's more vehicle slash, you know, mechanic slash related stuff can be attached to this box and be in that container separate 
from home stuff. Uh, I'm really trying to get that separated. One day I hope to build a shop, so I hope to be able to take all of this, put it in the shop, and then have my home stuff completely separated in my garage and have it like a normal garage like everybody would have. So that's the goal. Uh, you know, considering following along on my Instagram, you'll see as I purchase more tools, I'll definitely snap some photos on there. If you click on the link below in the co or in the comment description section, you'll see the link to my Instagram. The other thing you'll get from that is you can follow along as I buy parts and go places with my truck and you can kind of be ahead of the curve and not have to wait for videos to come out in order to see what happened. Please head on over, subscribe, ask any questions you like, hit me up, tell me what you want to see, tell me if you're interested on in a review of any of the tools individually or if you want me to give a more in-depth review. Um, you'll also see stuff that's going on in my truck. I work on my truck, which is why I have this toolbox. I put the whole Carly system on my truck myself, put the shocks on myself. Uh, the only thing that I did not do that truck is when I bought it, it came with the amp steps. It had a leveling kit, which I took off and put the Carly system on. Uh, the track bar and the uh, dual stabilizers were put on by a local shop. Uh, I did buy them. I just didn't have the time to put them on and I was going out of town. I wish I would have put them on, I would have saved 700 bucks. So uh, that's part of the reason, to be honest guys. I love buying good parts uh, as, in regards to stuff that's gonna be good for the truck. It's, I mean, it's a $50,000 truck or whatever it is. And don't waste your time buying cheap parts, guys. I mean, if you spent that much money on a truck like that, if you own a Power Wagon, you own a Cummins, you already invested yourself. Please buy quality parts where it counts. I get buying some cheaper stuff, you know, like I said, I don't always buy name brand things, but when it counts to your suspension, your brakes, you know, aftermarket add-ons, buy quality parts. I can't stress that enough. Um, part of the thing is that I wanna be able to show you guys stuff that I've tried, and that way you, if I make a mistake, you don't have to make the same mistake. Uh, I can't promise I'm gonna buy everything you guys say, I'm not rich, but, uh, if I mess up, if something doesn't work out, I'm gonna show it. And I hope you guys enjoy that type of content. You know, these are, this is my money, my truck. Nobody's helping me out with this. Nobody helps me out with this guy. And I think that you can't get a more honest review than that, or at least honest statements. Uh, like I said, one of the things I was really angry about, this was not, you know, matte black. I wanted that matte black look. Part of the reason was, this gets dirty real easy. You can see all the dust it collects. I live in the desert. You can see all the fingerprints it collects. And I thought that matte, or matte black look would look great. Uh, other than that, I love it. Oh, I guess I should have told you that these guys come off all the time. Uh, you could probably glue them on, uh, HOMAC. Well, hopefully you did something better with the latest generation. Uh, I guess to follow up on that, these are made in China, guys. The boxes are made in China. I did pull the drawers out. Uh, the coating on here, whether it's powder coat or whatever the case may be, not bad. I didn't really get any scratches. I think I've dropped a, I have a nick in one of these from dropping a wrench or something on it. But uh, the coating's held up pretty well. The inside though, I wish they would have done a better job. You can see where it's spotty. They didn't coat the whole inside. I again live in the desert. Rust is really not a problem, but it would have been nice. Uh, just something a little bit better. I believe the drawer slides are rated at 100 pounds a piece. I'll link the whole Mac website so you can get all the correct information. Uh, I haven't had any issues with binding. Um, I don't slam my drawers. You know, like I said, they pull out pretty easy. If they have some weight on them, they slide really well. Uh, I, I did grease them when I first got them. I threw some uh, green uh, chain lube grease in there uh, from my bikes, the Modal. And it helped a lot. When I first got them, I, I don't know if I have a stick drawer here, but you might have seen it when I was opening them. Some of them were like stiff. Um, and thankfully, now, after I've used them and put some weight on them, they're working great. So, guys, that's it for the video. Again, do me a favor. If you've made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and share with your friends. Uh, I'm just starting out. I need more subscribers. I'd like to get bigger. I'd like to get more input. And 
I want to show people what we can do in California that's not just the beach. I want to show people what they can do when they get out and explore. And at the end of the day, I want to have some fun. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.